When it comes to design must-haves, the Amory Design Studio has a list of their favorite items to include in your renovation. This Design Tip Tuesday segment has been sponsored by the Amory Design Studio. And joining us this afternoon is a president and designer, Anne-Marie Bogus. Welcome back to Studio STO. Oh, I love being here. I love when you're here, too. I mean, I can geek out over interior design, kitchen gadgets, and really all of your favorite things. I know. I, I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. And there are some all-time favorites that you have for kitchens, bathrooms. Yeah. Where are we getting started today? Bathrooms. We're going to get started in the bathrooms. Okay, I'm here for that. Main things, and I probably just need to get started by showing you the imagery in general, but the main things are, I always listen to the client's needs. Mm -hmm. I always try to understand budgets first, but there are certain things that once you've had it, you just can't like, live, without, live it. without it. And I didn't even put under cabinet lighting in there, but that's one of those for an example. Ooh. So in here, we're in the bathroom. I love a handheld shower and I love a bench seat. The Ooh. concept of having special things inside your shower, so it's not just a shower head. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have the space for it, it makes it a whole lot easier. If you've got a very small shower, it's kind of hard to do that, but a handheld shower helps you spray everything down, so it's nice. much easier for cleaning. Let's say you don't want to get your hair wet that day, you can lower it if it's on a bar. And then a bench seat, great for putting your leg up to shave, great for mm. sitting if you've had surgery or something like that where you can't physically stand on your own. It's a great way to utilize your shower in the most safe way. Okay, I'm here for both of these. What about this? Yep. Is this the handheld kind of that we're taking seeing the off? handheld there again too, and then a shower niche kind of tucked away in the Ooh. corner. So again, just the idea of utilizing all the space inside your shower and making it as functional as possible. Handheld shower, don't get your hair wet, cleans it out really well. Bingo. I like that you said functional too, because mm. that keeps everything organized. It organized, and who cares if your Neat. shampoo is not beautiful at that point? So, right, who right. cares? What so about this again, one? Again, so this one has a handheld as well, but notice there is also a grab bar on the far right-hand side. So oh, this and they're has, cute. It, it is cute. I know it kind of looks like a towel <laughs> bar, but it's safety first and mm -hmm. it's an attractive way to do it. And it makes it really, really functional for every user, every age too. A little kid could grab it and slip and fall. Mm. So there's easy things to, to do with a grab bar in that space. And again, handheld shower makes you spray that whole space off. So it's really easy to keep clean. Uh, so again, another beautiful way to show both features. Again, handheld shower is in this shower. And if you look at that far wall horizontally, mm -hmm. that's a grab bar, but that one actually acts as a shelf as well. The the way it shapes, it's sort of a widened oval, so it's ergonomically friendly to grab, mm -hmm. but it make, lets you sh push set shampoo and bottles and things like that on it, but you can grab it with your hand. So oh, that is attractive. Fabulous. It creates storage like a niche would, and then it also acts as functionality. I am here for functional and fabulous, <laughs> both at the same time. Let's yep. talk about this bathroom. All right, so this bathroom has lots of features, but the specific one I wanted to talk about was sconces on this wall. So oh. ample mirrors, right? So this probably, uh, a lot of clients do this. They have a bathroom they've had before with lots of mirrors, and they want to have sconces. They don't know how to make it look attractive. So in here, there is a center mirror over each mm -hmm. sink, and then the left and the right are sconces mounted on top of mirrors. Wow, so that's cool. it really elevates the lighting in that space. It really gives you the good lights right at your eye level to put makeup on, do plucking, do things like that that you need to do in and still looks really attractive. And there's so many ideas for sconces on the walls. Another example here of a different kind of sconce with more of a decorative mirror in the inside. Cute. Notice the shower, got a handheld in there as well. <laughs> Handhelds are just so functional. So uh, again, sconces inside of here. There's other lighting I like to do, can lighting on the ceiling, things like that. But sconces are really great just for seeing yourself, the, the right kind of lighting right at your face and not creating shadows. I am taking notes right now. I'm here <laughs> for all of these little bathroom favorites. Mm -hmm. What about the kitchen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen, I could go on and on and on. It's more about storage mm -hmm. and accessing the storage. And like right here is a great example. I've got, that's Paige. She actually works at our showroom, but she's <laughs> opening the spice cabinet pullout. So inside there so is where convenient. you put oils and any kind of spices, just salt and pepper and your Pam spray if you're mm -hmm. easy. All the spices you could think of if you're actually an avid cooker. So a great, really fast accessibility into a pullout. And each of those could be spices. They could also put knife blocks inside of them. You could put a tray divider in there for cookie sheets and cutting boards. Here's another view, view of the spice rack. So this one's one where it sits up high, so your cooktop is lower. Now you're at eye level pulling these spice racks out. This is a part of the hood feature. Ooh. So it's all built together and the left and the right hand side, pull it open and grab your spices that you need. Makes it so much easier for prepping food. So you're not going back and forth and walking to the pantry and everything. That is very convenient. What are we looking at here? This is a gorgeous Sim kitchen, by the yes. way. Yes, so this is a very symmetrical kitchen and it's balanced with the focal point being the hood. I am sure mm. I have told you I like, I like a focal point being the hood. <laughs> <laughs> so a really great focal point, that's kind of the tip of that is 
what can you do to create this beautiful focal point? And in this specific kitchen, you could go to every elevation of that space. Like the sink wall has a beautiful elevation of the window and the refrigerator is that part on the left with the mirrors, but the hood is the feature piece in this space. So doing whatever you can to make your eye gravitate to that hood. There's another view of it. So it's beautiful, it's like jewelry mm. and it doesn't look like it's, you know, going to just be sucking. No, right? It's <laughs> it doing will. its job, it's functional and it's fabulous. That's right. I'm so here for all of these tips, these design pieces. And speaking of design tips, what is our design tip for today? So the tip of the day is start creating your wish list of your must haves for your project in 2025. Uh, um, yes, I need a handheld shower. Yes. I, or a shower handle. Mm -hmm. I need that grab towel bar. warmer, oh. a grab bar. Yeah. We didn't even get to see things like, I love a bidet seat in the mm -hmm. bathroom. There's hot pot filler is a really Ooh. fun functional piece. <laughs> Touchless you're, you're faucets. You're making me want to dream. We have to do another segment. Oh, about I will. Well, I know. Okay, <laughs> we'll make it happen. I'm going to go ahead and start my wish list, St. Louis. And if you want to start your wish list, you're in the market for a kitchen remodel, a bathroom remodel. Maybe you just want to go ahead and do the entire first floor. The Amory Design Studio is here to help you. And all you have to do is visit their website, amorystudio.com, book a consultation appointment, or you can simply pick up the phone and give them a call at 636-821-3395.